Hey guys, it's Taylor, um, and you're watching Rosenberg After Hours, where I camp out in the Pelkey Lab and do my work at the late hours of the night. Um, on this week's episode, we have two very challenging to pronounce organometallic name reactions called the Haishi Mayora and Fujiwara Moritani reactions. So starting off with the Haishi Mayora reaction, this is just a way of forming carbon-carbon bonds through the use of a rhodium catalyst and a boronic acid derivative. So it's important to note that the R group on the veronic acid is either an aryl or alkeno compound, and this reaction is simply just a 1,4 addition or an addition at the beta position of a carbonyl. Our second reaction is the fujiwara moritani reaction, and this is another method of forming carbon-carbon bonds, but this one instead uses aromatic and alkene starting materials. Though I have palladium listed, it's important to note that that's not necessarily specific to this reaction. And in the literature, it is possible to see other metals being used. But one thing that is super specific is the use of an oxidant, such as O2 gas. One other fun little tidbit about this reaction is that it can occur intramolecularly. In the mechanism, though widely disputed in the literature, um, it can occur starting off with an association between the alkene and the palladium followed by a nucleophilic substitution similar to an EAS, and then it ends with a beta hydride elimination to make our desired product. So those these reactions both make carbon-carbon bonds and they seem kind of similar. They're actually very different. So starting off with our substrate um, for the Haishi Mayora reaction, we have an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl, where in the Fujiwara Moritani reaction, we have any aromatic compound. As for reactants, in the Haishi Moyora reaction, we're using those boronic acid derivatives, where in the Fujiwara Moritani reaction, we are using alkenes. Um, as for catalysts, the Haishi Moyora reaction is super specific to rhodium catalysts and typically the presence of a ligand, where the Fujiwara Moritani reaction um, typically uses palladium but can also use other metals and requires the presence of an oxidant. Lastly, our products are also very different. So we get a beta substituted carbonyl in a, the Haishi Mayora reaction, where in the Fujiwara Moritani reaction, we get this aromatic alkene complex. So I also made a fun little practice problem for you guys um, that I think shows the difference between the two reactions. Um, anyways, feel free to pause the video and solve this on your own. Um, but if you are curious about my answers, it is the Haishi Mayora reaction, and that is the product that you get. So, yeah, um, that's all I have for this episode, but feel free to tune in next week, and I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. So, bye.